All right, so assuming you already got this tightened down a little bit, a couple more cranks here. So best way for mine, just cause that they're a little stubborn first time I did this, kept popping out. I'm only doing the first couple of rings on the spring. Press down, give it a couple whacks. Try to turn the stretch. And then the keepers will free up right there. And for me, I try to get the first one out using needle nose pliers. Just barely sneak them in there. Lock this loose a little bit. down sometimes if you have a pick ideally a magnetic there's the first one. Rotate this around a little bit. Try to get this one to see a little bit more. Press. Sometimes you gotta wiggle the spring around a little bit. And out comes the second one. So pull that off. Now, there's the old valve stem seal right here. And, oh, I guess that one was my leaking one because these should be pretty darn tight. The last ones took me quite a few, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute of pulling and turning to get them off because when the valve goes up and down, it's going to leak if that's not set properly. This is basically an umbrella. It's supposed to sit right over this. But if it's moving up and down with the valve, it's going to let that oil in right there. You can see gap, oil goes in. So every time this lifts up with the valve, you're going to be letting oil in right there. They're uh, nice new ones. Went with Felpro on mine. Put them over. Should get on there. All right. So we'll be seated, but if you pull the valve, it comes up. Nope. So give it a good push. Really make sure it's, it's seated on there. Pull the valve a little bit. You can kind of see the little rubber O-ring in there, but. The valve should move freely with the valve stem seal in place. Do another good turn. Oops. And one important thing is keep the two holes with the head studs plugged for the valve you're working on. Get your keepers. So a very minor taper. So the thin taper is going to go in first. So, oh, oh, there it is. Line that back up. Yeah, it's comfort wise, that's a little pain in the ass. No socket on there, it's barely more comfortable. Grab your first keeper. Make sure that's aligned, tapered side down. Give this a good push. And start that in there. Push it in there, it'll sink. How's it going? Hey. 
Uh, just doing the stem seals. I found the oil burner. Yeah? What was it? One of the seals was definitely bad. Well, one of them was upside down. The other one was just, just you know, gone bad. The gaskets or around there? Uh, I'll show you in a second here once I get this guy back in. Uh, that's the taper then. Oh, it's really, tr really fun trying to fight these things. Yeah, I bet. You got to push down against the spring while you're tightening it? Yeah, I mean, the it has the compressor on it, but when I did, when I went too many rings down, it didn't like that, and it kind of popped loose a few times on me, which was a little, a little scary. Oh, come on. Uh, come on. Oh, jeez. Something weird. Uh, because I kind of got to wiggle it around mm. to get it to align. They're such annoying little pieces. It's not the most ideal compressor because these two metal bars that are right next to where I'm trying to work. And interfere, but there we go. Mm -hmm. Special tool. Huh? Did you already have that? Did you have to buy that? Uh, I went to O'Reilly's. Rent it? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Uh, 30 bucks. They had a lot more. You get it back, right? Huh? You get it back? Yeah. yeah. It's basically if you don't return it within yeah. three days, then you buy it. Um, Just like the uh, brake drum tool that we borrowed and ruined. <laughs> Was that one to borrow?